Hello, class of 2010, Wellesley College. It's such a pleasure to have this chance to speak to you, even if it's virtual. I am sitting here staring at a Sony camera, and I wish I were instead looking at all of you, your faces standing in the commencement tent or at baccalaureate somewhere, seeing the excitement on your faces as you get ready to graduate, seeing on your faces the stories of your four years at Wellesley, all the amazing things you accomplished here, the struggles that you overcame, I'm sure there were some of those, and the friendships that you made, those friendships that you will have for the rest of your lives. I was invited to do this by your wonderful Wellesley television crew, uh, and when they asked me whether I would speak to you, I said I would love the opportunity. In order to get ready to do that, I went back and I read the speech I had given to you. I still have it on my hard drive at your orientation welcome and then again at the opening convocation. And just thinking back to that time as you were arriving and wondering what Wellesley College and the Wellesley experience would mean to you, what you'd find here to love, what you'd find here that would inspire you and get you started on your lives, the kinds of friendships you'd make, the kinds of faculty that you'd connect with, and the projects that you'd take on. And it's hard to imagine now, four years later, how many stories you all must have of all of your exciting and interesting endeavors here at Wellesley. So I do have to say that I have a particular preference for the color purple as a fellow purple class. And I have a really, really special place in my heart and always will for this class of 2010. You arrived when I had already announced that I was moving on. And that last year, your first year, you were all settling in and figuring it out or trying to and getting your rooms organized and then trying to make sense of the curriculum and all the things you had to do in those early days. And I was figuring out how to say goodbye, which was also hard in its own way. After 14 years here as the president, I've um, got a great life now, I'm happy to say. There's life after Wellesley. Uh, and so that's the good news. It is, uh, I do miss you, though, and I especially miss the students. So know that I miss you. Know that I think of you often. Know that I think of you as my purple sisters. And know in particular that I think of this class of 2010 as my, as my last class and therefore as a very, very special class for me. And also know that I wish for you every kind of happiness in the future, all kinds of challenges and opportunities, uh, every kind of success. But more than anything else, I wish for you a life of learning throughout your lives, opportunities to take on new challenges, find ways, new ways to serve, to put your incredible gifts to use in the world. And I know you'll do that. I'm just sitting here, as you can probably see, in front of Alumni Hall. I've just finished with an amazing afternoon for me at which we celebrated the reopening of Alumni Hall and the trustees now have rededicated it with my name on it. So that's pretty amazing. Um, and it is making me feel very nostalgic for Wellesley, but also so appreciative of what this college represents. And before you leave, make sure you get into Alumni Hall, you walk along the row of photographs of the recipients of the Alumni Achievement Awards over the years, and just stop in front of each one and sort of think about each of those women and think about who you'll be 5, 10, 20 years out, 30 years out. And the architect, who is a Wellesley alum, Ann Beha, told me that they deliberately have left empty walls to be filled at some point. So some of you will surely be on those walls someday. And whether you are or you aren't, all of you, I know, will find ways to make the world a little bit better for people around you, to be the kinds of people who solve problems, find solutions, and help others. So, Godspeed to you all. 
have a wonderful senior week and commencement. I'll be thinking about you as you go through all of that. And um, I'm out there for you. You can reach me by email even. I have one of those alumni accounts. So if you need something from an old president, send me an email and I'll see if I can help. Good luck. Godspeed.